Neutron activation analysis, or NNA for short, involves a process by which a target nucleus of interest is excited by an incident neutron. The target nucleus emits a prompt gamma ray and a radioactive nucleus is formed. The radioactive nucleus emits a beta particle and undergoes radioactive decay, then emits a gamma ray to form a product nucleus. Emitted gamma rays have characteristic energies and intensities depending on the element and so can be measured for different element types. Both prompt gamma rays and delay gamma rays can be measured, but it's more common to measure delay gamma rays, and this is often implied when talking about NAA. Neutron sources commonly used are radionuclides, reactors, and accelerators. Some pros of using NAA are that it's highly sensitive, meaning that it can detect trace elements. It often requires minimal preparation, so it's not time consuming and is often non-destructive. One downside is that the disposable of radioactive material can be quite expensive. Two common types of NAA are used in environmental sampling, and these are radionuclide NAA and instrumental NAA. Radionuclide NAA is often used when the sample of interest is masked by a matrix. This process often involves separation techniques and a use of a carrier, that is a compound of inactive material that won't interfere with chemical or physical processes involved with NAA analysis. Instrumental NAA, on the other hand, does not require separation or decomposition of materials and offers multi-elemental analysis, making it ideal for such things as examining artworks or materials which we want to keep intact. Some downsides of instrumental NAA are that some environmental compounds can be very difficult to detect, such as cadmium, copper, nickel and lead. Instrumental NAA can also take a long time to obtain information regarding compounds with long half-lives and does not offer information regarding molecular structure, but does give information on elemental concentration. NAA can, however, be paired with other techniques in order to identify molecular structure. NAA is used in many fields, including archaeology, geology, biomonitoring, human bioanalysis, chemistry, and environmental analysis. For environmental analysis, NAA is used to measure several things, including air pollution, marine pollution, and radioactive soil content. For example, after the Chernobyl event, soil was analysed using NAA for the determination of cesium-137 and iodine-129. The major focus in recent years, however, has been on marine and air pollution. Marine pollution can be measured by taking soil sediments, which concentrate metals, from rivers or lakes by performing NAA on algae such as seaweeds. Algae has been used with NAA to identify pollutants such as earth metals, halogens and transition metals. Air pollution is of particular importance to humans as it has been shown to have several detrimental health impacts such as increasing the risk of asthma, leukemia, lung cancer, strokes and premature birth. Air pollution also has several impacts on the sustainability of agriculture, which we rely on to survive. There are several ways to test air pollution using NAA. Mainly via aerosols, ash samples, plant matter and human hairs have also been used for activation. Some plant matter that has been used are mosses, lichens, cotton, bark and other plants depending on the area being tested. Air particulate matter has been tested using instrumental NAA in many countries concerned with air pollution, such as Japan, China, Korea, and many others. Irradiation is applied to samples, followed by cooling, and then radiation counting. One paper describes the number of elements able to be detected by NAA using aerosols as upwards of 40. Air particulate matter of as small as 2.5 microns can be activated and measured using instrumental NAA. The radiation of samples can be anywhere from 1 to 2 minutes up to 16 hours, and cooling times of up to 30 days depending on half-life. Counting periods can then range from 5 minutes to 12 hours, so the process can be quite lengthy. Overall, NAA, and particularly instrumental NAA, is very useful for the identification of pollutants in air or in marine environments, and has been shown to have very high capabilities when detecting trace amounts of a wide number of elements. Although the process can be lengthy, NAA is still a good choice for accurate determination of concentration and is a great choice where a non-destructive technique is required for environmental studies and in many other fields.